Alright, this is a final countdown reading for Taurus. Um, yes, the Christmas countdown to my first video. It was um, guessing people's gifts for Christmas or the holiday season. So I wanted to redo that with a more, you know, kind of intense thing. I got one gift here that you will probably receive. And then I will roll my dice to see what other gifts you may be getting. Um, if I roll it off um, camera or it rolls kind of off camera, I will roll again. So I know some people had um, a complaint about that when I did my first video. So I will be, if, if it goes rearing off, then it will be my choice of gift for you. And if it goes into the view of the camera, that will be a gift that you will receive from somebody else. But, you know, my choice will be kind of like it'll be for a few people, okay? So, we'll see what the dice comes up with. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, I will be doing past, present, and future, and the year ahead goals. So, I have six cards here. Alright, so the past of your Christmas holiday season is the Queen of Pentacles. Let me slide this over. The Queen of Pentacles is, um, well, it's in reverse first off. Um, so, in reverse, um, Scared to Dream spends um, a lot on non-essentials, is conservative, is attached to earthly desires. So, in the past, you might, might have been like a young child and you wanted everything you wanted stuff that other people had or you wanted to get certain things that might have been popular at the time at Christmas. So, um, yeah, that's Christmas past for you. Um, so Christmas present, let's see. We have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, um, right now, let's see. Um, work which becomes too much, stress, sleepless nights, feeling like the end is nowhere to be seen. So you might have, um, you probably have a job that's really demanding or you kind of put yourself into a situation that might be a little bit stressful for you. It could be personal, it could be job related, it could be romantically related. So, um... It might be like you're working overtime or you're working up until Christmas to get some extra money for the New Year's or, you know, other things. Or it just could be really stressful when you're around your family. So I understand that my family is really, like, intense and stuff like that. And I'm kind of more like, you know, I go with the flow to most point, but I like being by myself. So I get that. Um... Then we have the future of Christmas for you. Let's see how that works out. We have future, which is the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Wands, not the Nine of Wands. Um, so, action um, being taken, things getting done, a change of home, something tangible, getting a, the job done, and a get together or go together. Um, so, both are good. So you might be getting a career um, going or more career stable in the future and it kind of um, makes you excited for Christmas or excited to achieve things in order to get Christmas going or the holiday seasons depending on what your beliefs are. But I feel like um, it's all in time. You know, it's not going to happen overnight. You might be working towards it and you wonder when your ship's going to come in or when stuff's going to change and you're just kind of waiting. So, you know, uh, good things come to those who wait, though, and people that, you know, make sure that they have all their ducks in a row. Anyway, let's go into the year ahead goals. So we have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, value, tradition, successful... Um, stability is family focused, rich, has a lot of resources. So you could be um, getting a lot of resources, you could have a lot of resources, you could be meeting a lot of people. Um, and, you know, it just could be a change of pace for you because maybe, you know, 
2020 wasn't exactly the most sociable year. <laughs> Let's put it to you that way. Um, but yeah, we're we're coming to the end of it pretty fast, so that's good. Anyway, so the next card is still the year ahead. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So you will be subject to envy. You will have to put in effort taking your natural born talent and abilities for granted, but you kind of make it look easy, if that makes sense. So you kind of just go with the flow and it kind of happens for you this year. But you might have to put in a little effort here and there, so don't take anything for granted. Um, kind of be humbled by the fact that you have to do work, you know what I mean? Um, but it should work out fine. Anyway, then we have the last one, and then we'll get to the presents, all right? Um, we have the death card. So, um, endings, change, transformation, transition, new start, blessing in disguise, positive endings, change, changes made for the better. So, new starts. A lot of new starts. So, you know. Anyway, let's go to the gifts. We have the first one. The ultimate gift you wanted. So somebody's going to be awfully generous or you're going to get it for yourself. So that's pretty cool. And then we got, let's see. I'm going to put it right here so you can see it. Alright, and then let's roll the dice. See if it rears off or it goes into viewing distance. Hopefully, oh, 12. <laughs> I got 12. So we're going to do number 12. And then I'm going to roll it actually near the camera. So we got number nine. All right, number nine. All right, let's do number nine first, and then we'll get to mine, all right? All right, so... All right, something exotic, erotic, exotic. Could be either or, depending on what you assume that means. All right, number nine is back over there. And then we have number 12, my pick. So this is the few people will get this. So, technology, gadgets, maybe a new computer, um, maybe a laptop, maybe an actual, like, gaming computer, something like that. Something, you know, big on the agenda. Alright, so, I hope that you get at least all of these, if not one, probably this one. Um, but yeah, I think anything exotic or technology, gadget... Or the ultimate gift that you are asking for <laughs> is all good things, alright? So, Taurus, I feel like it's, you know, going to be an interesting year ahead. But I feel like it's it, it's going to make you grow and, you know, grow into your own and depend on yourself for a lot of things. Um, so, just watch out for that. And there's going to be a lot of changes. But that is, you know part of growing up and part of coming into your own. I do feel like there could be um, somebody that you'll meet around the end of the year next year, so be aware of that. That's for a few of you or one of you. Um, and, you know, I feel like it, it, you didn't have the expectation of meeting somebody. So I feel like that's going to be coming up for one person, I feel. Anyway, so, if you like this reading, leave a like, and I will talk to you or see you tomorrow. I'm going to be doing readings up until Christmas Eve. So, yeah, you can tell how much I'm into the holiday season. But, yeah, I usually observe Christmas because of my mom. Uh, she really loves Christmas, so I do it for her. Um, I'm not really into Christmas. I've, ne I've never been into Christmas. I've always been that person that's kind of like, uh, religion's a lie and all this shit. But yeah, um, I celebrate it for my mom. I wouldn't tell my mom that it's bullshit in front of her face, so. 
you know, it's that type of thing. But I feel your pain. I know that some people's families can be a little bit intense or a little bit, you know, overbearing around the holiday season. So I do um, feel for you there. Um, but it should all be fine. And if your job is high demand, I would take a couple days to um, de-stress and do some self-care. All right? So thank you for watching, Taurus. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> all right? Thank you for watching. All right? Bye now.